Hi everyone, so just a little update on the double gauge uh, station layout I've been doing. I've roughly laid out some track here. If I can zoom around there, you can see where there's two main lines going up, going down. There's that one there, and this one here. You can see it goes the line down there. There's going to be some sidings going off here. You can see I've got a couple of points laid out. A couple of it's a straight as placeholders. Bit of a pointing puzzle here. Comes triple in there. A Y point coming off there. Now the reason why I've got this main line set this close to the edge on this side is because however many boards long this will be, I need to be able to fit second and third radius curve. So this, the centers on this is roughly 505 millimeters, which is third radius curve radius. Uh, likewise, this will be the second radius curve. But on this layout as well, I'm hoping to include my Metcalf station, which I've uh, pretty much finished apart from the chimneys. You can see it's got all nice detail on there. I've got these industrial buildings. It's roughly in place a minute. These two, I'm thinking of having actually on the layout, having seen another person's layout on YouTube recently, it makes for a very good place to hide a control panel from, from behind. Because the back bit there would be the two foot be four foot well, as you might have seen in my previous video when I did the, the baseball video. This board is actually only two foot wide though, so I was wondering if I'm limiting myself a bit too much for space. On top of here, you can see just some of the other Metcalf buildings I'm hoping to include. And then including the scale L bridge. So I've got me goods shed there with the roof off at the minute still because I'm planning on putting some lighting in. I've got a tunnel entrance there which I'm, I'll probably use as a scenic break. So I've got my single engine shed there as well and a signal box with, with as you can see some of the smaller Metcalf parts set up in there. 